Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for advanced English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this story as an all access patron on our Patreon page. Ready? Let's get started. C1 C2 English Story The Snow Globe Rose slept. The moon was full. The calm, bright sky, twinkling with shining stars, illuminated her peaceful, pretty bedroom. It had been a wonderful day. Rosa's father had taken her to the nearby village where all was festive. They were welcomed by a group of children singing to beautiful choral music. The sweet sounding songs were enchanting. An array of stalls, which glowed under a canopy of lights, displayed a variety of festive food and drinks, handcrafted wooden toys, cards, and ornate stained glass decorations. One stall immediately attracted Rosa's attention. On display was a beautiful, transparent sphere, inside which stood a miniature scene of delicate silver reindeer surrounded by winter white snow. Activated by shaking, resulted in a visual delight, a magical snow shower. Rose was enthralled. Noting his daughter's pleasure, her father purchased the enchanting snow globe for her. Rose was so happy. After each drinking a mug of freshly made hot chocolate, produced by a sherry stall vendor, Rose and her father headed home to their warm, cosy farmhouse. On arriving, Rose ran upstairs to her bedroom and placed the precious gift onto her bedside table. Later, as she lay in bed feeling drowsy, she was mesmerized by the snow orb. Rose closed her eyes. She slept, she dreamed, and in a moment, the world became a snow globe. It was the depth of night, through the snow, ankle deep, and as soft as a winter blanket, Rose ploughed on. All was bleak, but she was not afraid. Chilly air stung at her cheeks, her fingers and toes tingled, and her teeth chattered but she was warmed by thoughts of the wonderful day ahead. The snow fell softly, each flake making its own path, as Rose made hers in a dream-like blanket of winter-white wonder. The light of dawn gleamed softly on the peaceful landscape, the first rays of sunlight lit the way ahead. A pretty path, strewn with white rose petals, opened up, guiding Rose onwards. Before her stood a monumental ice archway covered in a wintry confetti of pure white snowfall. Tingling with excitement, Rose stepped under the arch. She gasped, a sparkling winterscape of white and silver, as far as the eye could see, enchanted her. This was a dream, an enchanting, mystical winter wonderland. Every step Rose took left a fresh, crisp footprint in the sunlit, glittering snow. Was she the only person to have ever entered this wondrous place? Everything glistened in the quiet, still air. The tree's naked branches held a desolate beauty. Frozen and gnarled, 
arranged to catch the snow's soft falling flakes. The sun's rays beamed through the branches, drawing beautiful patterns from their shadows onto the sparkling, chilled earth below. All was quiet and peaceful. Nothing stirred, nothing sang. The only sound was the tinkling of a nearby stream, clear and fresh. As Rose walked on through the undisturbed snow, still pristine and white, she was aware of the changing landscape. In the distance, she could see a range of magnificent snow-capped mountains, below which stood an immense lake of silvery ice, positioned on a hillside, shrouded in mist, appeared a glittering snow castle. It was majestic. The white frost-covered chateau reached high up into the sky, its cylindrical central tower flanked by numerous turrets with pointed roofs. A drawbridge of ice opened over a moat of clear fresh water, gently tinkling down from the misty mountain tops above. The grandeur of the scene, with its grounds carpeted in winter white flora, was breathtaking. Rose trod on. A gentle hush swathed the tranquil scene. Her boots crunched on the powdered snow, their sound amplified in the still silence. As she neared the castle, Rose was warmed by the sight of children sledging down an ice hill. Their delightful laughter jingled through the crisp air. Below, Gliding across the frozen lake, on its smooth surface of polished ice, skaters danced on the transient rink. Like graceful swans, serene and untroubled, they skimmed the surface with ease, as if floating, making patterns as they skated, enjoying the wonderful experience. They were free like the snow falling from the sky. Rose was in awe of the amazing scene before her. It was so joyful. After some time, Rose was aware of movement near the castle. Travelling down a lane, bejewelled with frost and lit by twinkling lights, was a dazzling silver sleigh. In the bitter cold, the ice-covered carriage sparkled like diamonds. Seated within, on a cushion of white velvet, was a beautiful, fairy-like lady. She was wrapped in a translucent cape, like an icy veil. Her ivory silken dress was covered in sparkling sequins, and her lustrous, long, golden hair was held in place by a crystal tiara. Around her neck, she wore white pearls, luminous on her fair, pale skin. She was a snow queen. Two majestic reindeer, sporting large, gleaming antlers and a coat of long, white fur, were a captivating sight. Their piercing blue eyes reflected on the snow, illuminating the way before them. Harnessed to the sleigh by threads of silken ribbon, they trotted slowly by. They passed conifers coated in frost, standing like pearl-white pillars, leading towards the lake. The queen alighted the sleigh her pretty satin shoes staining in the snow. As all who skated saw her, they stopped, turning to greet their sovereign, for she was kind and generous. From a silken purse she took out silver coins, giving each adult and child a treasured gift. 
all Rose had experienced in this wonderful world wrapped her in a blanket of quiet peace and calm. Rose turned. She was going home. As dusk approached, swirling flakes of snow descended on the frozen ground. No tracks marked her departure. Through the ice-kissed air she journeyed, a warm glow within her. Memories of the mystical encounter would be ingrained in her being forever. A world silently entombed inside her snow globe would never be forgotten. The moon was full. Rose slept. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share.